Welcome back to Let's Make an Open World RPG, um, Dawn Haven. In this episode, we are going to continue with our um, hunger, thirst, and sleep system that we're building from scratch, based, from scratch based on the script that we were going to use. <gasps> Excuse me. Anyways, so we have finished all these rates, um, all these maximum stuff that we need. Okay. All these maximum stuff that we need. I'm actually just going to go ahead and just move these down. So the next ones we're going to do, I mean, be working on is. Hmm. 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 <laughs> um, life variable. Variable life. Excuse me. Okay. Variable ID for life stats. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is. We have the maximum. Now we need the value that um the value that's actually going to change, which we're gonna call hunger, thirst, and sleep. So we have and then um life, of course. Um, but the life one is always going to be um the same. Um the only reason why um I made a max um hunger and max thirst is so I can actually increase it and then I could just regulate it to make sure that um that the life I mean that the hunger stats is never um is never higher than the max hunger um that way I can keep on upgrading it without um having to run into um a regulation problem I'm a regulating problem. So basically, if I just made it, if I just made one variable called um hunger, and then I made it increase up and down, um based on your hunger, I have to cap it because if I don't cap it, then the player will just keep on eating and maybe have like one thousand um health, and if that happens, then there's no way I can actually upgrade it, um because that's no maximum that you could reach. But so you could just keep on eating, 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 and there's no way for me to actually use the survival skill. Um, and implement it to the system. And the other way is if I regulate it, then how am I going to upgrade it? So, um, when you, um, regulate it, that means you cap it at something. Maybe you cap it at 100. How am I going to, um, then if we do that, then how am I going to, um, um, to upgrade it? So if I upgrade it, there's going to be a problem. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, I'm using one extra variable for each of these that I have to, except for max, um, Except for maximum health, um, life, which this says max sleep, it should say max life. So, anyways, now we are gonna go ahead and create the variables called mat. I mean, not mat. Um, regular hunger and sleep and whatnot. So, hunger, hunger, thirst, sleep. Okay, so what we're going to be working on first is hunger. Um, hunger, to start the game, I'm going to make hunger 100. Okay, so um, this isn't actually where I'm going to make hunger 100 because if I did this, then hunger will always, always be 100. So what I'm actually going to do is just go ahead and um, set all of these and I'm going to copy and paste, actually copy and cut, copy and cut these three values. These three values will be, um, should be given before we teleport to, um, wherever we're going. So we have to go into the character creation screen and set those values. So this is the main thing that's working over here. So, um, let's transfer character. None. So let your race. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum, bum. where does um game switch actually turn on? That's what I need to know. I believe it. I believe it turns on, um, okay, it's not turning on over here, well, is it? So, nope, it's not. So, that just transfers me to Dawnhaven. Does anything else here transfer me to Dawnhaven? Nope. 
that's for male that's for female okay so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and paste those so this is where hunger thirst and sleep is going to be set um that way they are set once and they're going to be 100 because that's going to be the maximum of that so but what we are going to regulate over here is um i'm actually going to make another i don't want to cram this thing up with stuff so i'm going to go ahead and paste this here insert and i'm going to call it h t s h t s regulator so this is going to basically regulate <clears throat> this is going to regulate um our hunger slash thirst slash sleep system to make it so that they are never above the maximum um versions of the variable so control variable um hunger and i don't even know what i'm controlling it i'm supposed to not control it and condition it so condition variable um the first we're going to start with hunger if hunger is greater than variable max hunger, then what we're going to do is control variable now. So control variable, which is right here, control variable, check up on time, six minutes. So anyways, control variable, we're then going to set um, hunger and we're going to set it to max hunger. So if you eat too much, it's just going to set it back to max hunger. And you, if you overeat, maybe you have a food that um, gives you five points of um, hunger. And you had like nine, you had 99 hunger. You eat a food that gives you five points of hunger. Your maximum hunger is 100. It's going to regulate it and bring it down for you to um, one to 100. So that's basically what that does. So if, and then else, we also have to um, regulate the lower value so um you know what i could I just just copy and paste this copy paste so if hunger is less than variable constant actually if it's less than zero then basically set constant to zero yay now hunger is now regulated it can be upgraded and it's regulated. So now we just copy this, paste it, and we just change all the value from max hunger to max thirst. Oh, my bad. Okay. From hunger to thirst and from max hunger to max thirst. Whew. This is a lot of work, a lot of easy work. So hunger, um, change this to thirst. Oops, that's hunger. Change that to thirst. Change this to thirst. Hunger, max hunger. Change this to max thirst. Change this to max hunger. Nope, max thirst actually. Okay, so it's um max thirst. It's actually thirst, max thirst. Max thirst equals thirst. Ooh, that's not right. That is not right. It's the other way around. So it's thirst set it to max thirst it's weird saying that it's weird when you say one word that like you keep saying it over and over and over again it starts to sound weird thirst 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 now thirst sounds weird like i'm not it sounds like i'm not saying it right or something like that anyways now this is regulated and then we have to also regulate the sleep 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 and the life is going to have a mind of its Oh. So, um, so this is thirst. We need to change it to sleep. This is max thirst. We need to change it to max, um, sleep. Um, we did set um sleep to one hundred somewhere, but we're gonna change that because it should not be there, because it's always gonna keep our health on, um, it's gonna basically keep our health on. Is basically gonna keep our life on max at one hundred at all um all the time. So thirst to um sleep, max thirst to max sleep. See, I'm saying that like that to help me remember. So thirst to sleep. Oops, thirst to sleep, and then thirst to sleep again. 
and everything good. Okay. So while we're here regulating stuff, HTSL or HLS, HTLS, HTLS. Let me add LS there. Um, we also have to regulate life. We have to regulate life. So since that's no max life, that's only one. Um, it's not. Yeah, it's only max life, which is only life. We don't even need um the other value. So anyways, if max life is Greater than a constant of 100, bring it down to 100. So, max life cons set to constant 100. Okay, 10 minutes has passed already. Let's start to wrap this video up. So, max life. Um, okay, now we have to set over here if max life is less than zero. Then set max life to zero. Now max life is now also regulated. Okay, now we have our system in place. There's only one thing to actually do now. And what is that? It's basically... Oh, we basically just have to... What happens when our max life start to do actually we need we need a way to actually degrade these stuff so um h t l s before the last thing we um, need a way to degrade it so the grade okay this is also gonna be a parallel parallel but go ahead and make sure that that's that and you know what we can actually just copy this and just put it here to save space. But do I really need to save space? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's definitely do that. So that's, it's just going to set that to that and then regulate it. So it's gonna so max. So no, I just want to make sure that max anything isn't being changed, except for max life, which isn't actually over here. Okay, regulator. Just go ahead and change that to degrade. Copy and paste. Okay, degrade. How fast are they going to degrade? How? Fast are they going to degrade? So I can make the degrade um rate based on the survival, but that wouldn't actually be a good idea since um the maximum of everything is already based on the rate of degrade. I could make it so the degrading rate is actually let's see if I even if I could do that. So wait, nope, can't. <sighs> Okay, 60 seconds. Okay, 60 frames. Wait, it's one frame equals one second. So 60 frame equals 60 seconds? No. See, this frame thing is actually confusing me. It says frame one out of 60. Let me see. It should tell me somewhere if I just... Okay, set um the wait time in one slash 60 seconds increment that doesn't even make any sense um anyways um what we're gonna do now is basically so one frame equals 60 seconds i have i have to okay see that, uh, that has been confusing me for quite a while now actually at this particular moment so it's actually backwards is 60 frames equals one second so that's backwards i'm pretty sure i knew what i was talking about so this is one second right here so that's 60 frames equals one second so one second so i need a calculator for this one so 60 
equals one second. Now to guess, um, so times that by 60 equals 60 seconds, which is one minute. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm probably doing this wrong. So 60 frames equals one second. Okay, so that's one second. And I need 60 seconds. So times it by 60. So that's one minute. And I need um, two minutes. Seven two zero zero seven two zero zero seven two zero zero. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, actually no seven two zero zero. That's only nine numbers that could fit here. Uh, well, actually no, yeah, only three numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna make that go up a thousand. Uh, make it go up. A, um, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's. I'm just gonna make a random up to one thousand. So that's one, two. So that's that. And then we need 200 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Since there are 7, I'm just going to add 7 over here to round them all off. Hopefully, I'm right on this. So I don't, I don't, it feel, it's complicated working with seconds and minutes and whatnot. So anyways, this is all, this is everything I need. Okay, so what we're going to do here is... Um, blah, 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 mm, 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 mm. control variable, control, we are almost done with this video, control variable, control variable, hunger, degrade the fastest, subtract, one, okay, and then we wait two more, thirst, Degrade by one. Sleep. We wait this much more. Degrade by one. We have to have to change this to sleep. Okay. Okay. But the only problem actually right now is a way to display this in game because I don't know. I might have to get like a custom script to actually display um this information um the way I want it. And when I say custom script, you know what? I'm I want to make my own script. So I'm gonna I'm gonna research and find a way to make my own script and then because all I really need is a GUI that basically just displays um these numbers. Um anyways, to wrap it up, so we have a way for our needs to degrade. We have the needs set to what they need to be. We have a way to regulate it. Um, there was one more thing, but I forgot. Oh yeah, what happens? The punishment of having your stats too low, and of course the degrade. Um, the degradation. Degradation is that a word? Hmm. The degradation of um whatever um the the rate that um. The rate that life degrades. Life degrade. I'm gonna make that all capital. So, and I spelled life wrong. So life degrade. So life degrade is oh boy, we have to do the scripting again. Okay, cancel, cancel. And I actually Ah oh, damn it. Okay, it's 73. Okay, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, 73, Um, thank you very much. Control variable. Okay, so 73, 7, 3 will equal, equals to, um, <laughs> oh, 73 is going to equal to basically all those other, um, 
numbers. So it's, I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay, we are back and after a few experimentation and a few minutes of thinking, I finally figured it all out. So what I did is I basically set um, game variable 73, which I actually forgot what it was, but 73 is life degrade. So that's our variable that degrades um, our life. So I set it to all three of the main um, variables, which are hunger, thirst, and sleep. So, and then we go back. So I basically just, that's what this does. This little uh, script does. It basically sets um, it to 300. So it's going to start out at 300. And I've actually made a big mistake. And I forgot that, um, I forgot that our max um, health actually increases from 300. So what I'm going to do is basically change, um, hmm, Cancel, cancel, edit. Okay, so it's not gonna be a constant of three hundred because our max, um, our max, everything changes. So I actually have to set this to okay. So now I need another um variable. Um, do I need another? Okay, so I made a mistake. Um, uh, my bad. So, um, I'm, instead of um, setting it to the hunger, I'm actually supposed to set it to the max hunger. Um, so, that's 60, 67, and 68. So, basically, just come back over here, change this to 60, 67, and 68. And I said 60 again, didn't I? 60, 67. Oops. 68. And then right here is 68. So that sets it to the max of everything. So it's always going to be a constant value until you um until your max is increased. Then um it will of course change. So anyways, now we can um safely do this. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Oh no, we can't. It can't be max because I okay. Because our system depends on it not being max. Okay, so 70, 70, okay, 70, 71, 72. Because how our system works is um the lower your um the lower your overall rating is um the lower your um the lower your I'm thinking of the word. Um I mean, okay, the lower your ratings are, the higher your um, life degrades. So that's how it's set up. So what we're actually going to be needing is we need to copy this. And we could just come over here. And we could make 74. And we could then set it to 66, 67, and 68. Okay, so now all we basically just have to do now is, so that's 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, okay. And we should be set. Oh, it's for me to explain it to you. Okay, so the first one sets it to our current overall rating and the second one sets it to our max overall rating. So this is how the healthy grid works. It waits um, three sets of 999 frames and then it decreases hunger by one. It waits another 209, two, um, two, 200, um, two 999 frames, then it um, decreases thirst by nine. Then it waits this long again and uh, it decreases um, it decreases sleep by one. Then it waits again and then it says, hmm, okay, so does my life degrade um is it lower than the maximum so that's what we have to set here is it lower than the maximum and if it is lower than the maximum then run this what this is basically doing is um is basically subtracting max life which is a 100 and then it subtracts it by 300 divided by whatever your um your current rating is so let's bring up the calculator right now oops god damn it windows Okay, so, um, hmm, actually, I have to change this number right now. 
I have to change that number. Well, I basically just have to do this. Basically, just copy this, paste this, and then change this to the number four. Okay, let's use 300 as an example because that's what we start off with. So 300 divided by, let's say this is no longer um, full. And let's say it's now um 299 because when um because your hunger just dropped now the next time it's gonna subtract it by this much which is basically two again actually which is one again so it's gonna be um 298 and then divided by 300 because you haven't your survival hasn't gone up yet oops um 300 divided by 298 so it goes up again, I think. And then eventually it's going to be 300 divided by, let's say, 200. Um, now it's going to start degrading by 1.5. And then let's say it's 300 divided by. Now you're letting your sleep, hunger, thirst, like really drop low. Now it's subtracting it by three. And then eventually it's going to reach a point where, like, let's say it's 50. Then it's going to start, like, being... So it's basically going to keep on going up. And then you can, of course, increase it. So it could be 600 divided by, let's say, 500 and whatnot. So that's how the system works. Um, in the next episode, we're going to basically um, do the penalties. What happens when your, um, when your needs drop too low? That's what we're going to be doing um, in the next episode. Um, yeah, when your life drops to zero, you die. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and end this episode here. Peace. Thanks for watching.